Hi guys, my name is Emily Oliver and this week's tutorial is actually per request of Sarah Jones um, and the request was a colorful smoky eyes. I'm going to start off with my trusty eyes to kill. This is Giorgio Armani Beauty. Um, L'Oreal makes a less expensive version. You can see my cat walking in the background. I'm going to take this all the way up to the brows. So that's step one. Next thing to do is take our highlight. So I'm going to grab my trusty MAC brush. And this is the Bare Minerals Gossamer, and this is actually a face color, but I really like it because it reminds me of fairy dust. So just go ahead and stick that on the inside corner of your eye. I apply a liberal amount, and then also on your brow bone. Next thing I'm going to do is add some eyebrows. Okay, so now I have my eyebrows on. I'm feeling more like a human being. I am going to go ahead and add an actual super soup. <laughs> I'm going to add a super going to add a super shiny, beautiful coat on top of my eyelids. This is called Soft and Gentle. This is the one I couldn't remember the name of in the last video. Um, it's by MAC and it is a mineralized skin finish and I am completely obsessed. And I'm just going to fluff this onto the middle of the eyes and also take it underneath. The next thing to do is get some color in here. So I really love this vibrant purple by NARS. Uh, this is called Can Can. And you're going to take any brush. I like brushes that look like this, that are actually really kind of compact because they grab the color better. So I'm going to get a lot of that pigment. And then what you do is you actually apply it, again, that outer one third of the eyelid, making my way out, okay? So you guys notice I didn't put foundation on yet. That's because I'm planning on having a lot of fallout and I'm just gonna gently swipe it away and I'll be ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is take this color <laughs> underneath my eye. So that is going to bring this wonderful smoky eye full circle so we don't just get like stuff on the top and not on the bottom. The next thing to do is to add my dark accent color. So I am using this limited edition MAC palette that was part of the Heatherette collection. I'm using a really black smoky color. This you could also do like carbon or something from MAC or any black color will do really. So I'm taking the black, I'm swirling it on that same brush I was using earlier. And this is going to go a little bit farther out, but still in that upward motion. And I'm also gonna bring it into my eyelashes. So this is my Giorgio Armani blending brush. I love this eyeshadow blender brush. It is like the best. Um, if you're on a budget, I recommend Echo Tools from Target. They make bamboo based um, brushes that are cruelty free and also just really great. Now I'm going to start blending from the inside outward. So the idea is to keep repeating this process until you get the effect you want. Um, some products layer easier than others. These ones, you can see, the more I blend it, the more the color goes away. So I really want to have that vibrant violet in there. So I'm going to add more violet. I'm also going to add some more of that black. So let's get that blended again. And this time I'm going to gently blend it so I still get the full amount of that pigment. I just bought this for my kid. It's Chanel Eye Makeup Remover. It's really beautiful. Um, if you're on a budget, I recommend Clinique. They make a really nice one. So, I'm going to start removing what's fallen down or what we call the fallout, but as I come up on the side, I'm going to create my angles. So with my eye shape, you can see that this just kind of exaggerates it. Um, yay, get rid of that shadow on that side. So this one, we're going to do the exact same thing. And the idea is to get your points as symmetrical as possible. Okay, so I'm really happy with the shape. Now it's time to add some eyeliner. So I'm going to use my favorite, which is Dior Trinidad Black. It's a waterproof and it's awesome. So with this, take the black and put it in the waterline. Okay, so now I have that all done. I'm going to take this pencil onto the top part of the lid. So we've gone on the waterline, which is that kind of sensitive cry part. Um, and now we're gonna do the less scary part. <laughs> And I find this looks better if it goes thicker on the outside and comes in a lot thinner. It's almost like a gradation. Okay. So now I have some pretty dramatic eyes going on. Um, so Sarah had asked about a colorful smoky eye. You can do any color 
So long as you follow the formula that I showed, which is your lightest colors first, do your next color about a third out, and then your darkest color all the way out, and then blend. Um, it doesn't really matter what colors you use, it's just, it should always go, in my opinion, from lightest to darkest, unless you are doing some sort of a like avant-garde look, and then this whole entire eye could be blacked out, and that might be a fun look for me to show you too. One thing I do need is concealer. So today I'm going to be using a clay de Poe, and this color is beige is my color. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this on under my eyes. And this is gonna make a huge difference with the way that this look reads because whenever you do a smoky eye, you cannot look tired at all. And one of my biggest things are um, I have dark circles. So I always wanna make sure that the puffies are gone, the dark circles are gone. So I look just perfect uh, when I go out. Um, tonight I'm actually going out to a birthday party, so I'm really excited. Uh, hence the appropriate nature for a smoky eye. I think that I do want to add some fake lashes today with this look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply them, but I'll do a demo video at another time to show you how to do it because I don't want this to be too long. Okay, so now I have on fake lashes, I've done an extra coat of eyeliner, I've done lashes on the bottom, uh, mascara I mean, and then I've also taken a little bit of the purple that was on my brush and run it underneath my eye area. I am going to now add some foundation because, hey, so I'm back with foundation on. I actually ended up mixing a couple different ones together. I did Armani Lasting Silk UV in number four and seven. And then I added also Armani's Designer Lift Foundation in number five. The next thing to do is to add some bronzer and blush. Okay, so now we have our eyes done, our face on. Time for the lips. I'm going to be using Viva Glam Lip Glass today. Uh, that was a Lady Gaga one. So the effect is almost like this 60s kind of pastel vibe thing going on. At any rate, this is for you, Sarah. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this answers some questions. If there's any specific question that you have, I can definitely answer it. Just post in the comments below. And uh, thank you guys so much for still watching. I, I love doing this. So just comment, like, let me know what you'd like seen or demonstrated. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.